That's about all the tools you have to create and manage your ads. Now let's look at measuring and reporting and start with ads reporting. You can create reports for your campaigns using this tool. So for example, if you were reporting to your manager and you had to give them a report of how your campaigns were performing, this is where you'd come to make those reports. It has a list of your campaigns, the delivery, results, reach, cost, the amount spent and whether the campaign has ended or not. You could dig down to an ad set level. If you wanted to change the columns here, you could create customized columns and you there's a whole list of columns that you could add you can go through each of them select the columns you want and apply you can select the date range for which you want the report you can break it down by delivery and finally you can export this report you can save the report as well so that the next time you want the same report you already have all your columns in place and you can just directly export it for yourself Let's go into custom conversions. So as we've already created one custom conversion in one of my previous videos using the Facebook pixel that we installed to the website, you can create custom conversions here. You can add those codes to your website and this is the place for you to track whether these conversions are active or not and you can make edits to it as well right from here. Let's move into assets and go into audiences. So this is a place for you to create audiences. You can create custom or lookalike audiences. All your saved audiences, if you've saved any while creating an ad, will be here. Uh, so I have one custom audience already created, which is all my website visitors in the last 30 days. Um, I created this very recently, so the number is pretty less right now. And I can use this audience to create ads. Uh, in my next video, actually, I'm going to take a detailed dive into all these different kinds of audiences. So you can learn about this more in detail there. Let's move into images. So here you will see a list of all the images that you've basically used for an ad and you can upload more here or select an image that you previously used and create an ad using that. Pixels. Again, we've been over this in one of the other videos where I showed you how to set up pixels or create conversion events using the pixel. Um, so I'll just link up that video here in the annotations for you to see. Let's check out offline events. As you can see, this layer here that you can create an offline event and then add it to your ad set. So basically what it does is if say you were doing an ad to drive more walk-ins into your restaurant, you could make a list of all the customers who actually came to you after seeing a Facebook ad. You can compile a list of that audience and you can upload all that data to Facebook from here. Um, like it says, upload your data and match it to the people on Facebook. And what happens is that now Facebook knows what is the kind of audience that is coming to you via their ads offline and they'll try and show ads to more of those kinds of audience. And once you add the data to Facebook, you will also get a sense of which ad set is giving you more offline conversions and which ones are not. Let's go to product catalogs. You can create a product catalog here. So basically this is used by large e-commerce stores like for example, say Amazon or Flipkart where they can upload all their products uh, via an XML or an Excel or a CSV file and they could upload it all here. And once you actually visit the website and say if you were trying to buy shoes on the Amazon website, if you come back to Facebook, what Facebook will do is they'll pick up all pick up products from this feed which was tagged as shoes and they'll show that to you as ads. So which is why you can create a product catalog. This is something we'll do and uh, I'll get into it in a much more detailed way in another video. 
Now let's move on to settings, something called ad account settings. This is all about very basic stuff where you decide on your billing address and you decide how you want to want to be notified about your payments and your ads. You can add admins to your ad account so that others can also advertise with this account. Billing and payment methods is as simple as it's checking the summary of your billings, deciding on how you want to pay Facebook and setting a limit to your ad account so that you can ensure that if you're not over seeing your account in a, for a couple of days, you make sure that Facebook does not spend more than the limit you've set on the account. And finally, business manager setting is, you, is used by businesses uh, to add more business managers into their account. Well, that's about it for an overview on the Facebook ads. I know this has been a really long video, but please do go over each of these tools, see how each of them can help you in advertising better on Facebook. If there are any doubts, any questions, please reach out to me. You can add, leave a comment below and I'll definitely reply and get back to you. If I've taught you something new, added value to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and please, please share it with someone who you think would be interested in learning more about marketing on Facebook. Thank you.